Brisbane, known as the City of Sundays, Brisbane is the attractive, fresh and vibrant capital city of Queensland. It lies 20 kilometres inland on the banks of the twisting Brisbane River and offers all the excitement of a big city, with pace that is little less than busy. As Australia's only subtropical capital city, the weather is perfect for all outdoor activities, including bushwalking, rock climbing and rollerblading. South Bank Parklands is a favourite recreational area where visitors can enjoy gardens, playgrounds and barbecue picnic facilities as well as the man-made streets beach. So it's the first time the NBL has run the Australian Basketball Challenge. We're uh, very proud to be doing it here in Brisbane, the uh, home of the resurgent Brisbane Bullets. Um, and it's the first time that the Australian Basketball Challenge has involved international teams, but the first of many to come. Wildcats back to their starting lineup. Nice handoff. Great pass by Martin. And Jaron Johnson buries a triple. What? That is the way to execute in the half court. Great ball movement. Great movement away from the ball. Good. And Martin pulls down the board. And that's one thing they haven't been able to do thus far, Tian Jin, is just, just knock down those open triples. That would relieve the pressure a little bit offensively. Redditch buries another triple right there. And boy, does that hurt when you come down the other end and the team that's smacking you on the scoreboard is able to keep lighting it up. Just torch them for 30 and... This could do no wrong. Good D on Tueta. Nice floater in the lane. No good. In and out. Oh, oh hello. Yeah. Akil Mitchell says, I'll, have, I'll take that and I will throw that down with some authority to win the first period. Gonna get smacked by that three in transition. Puts it back up to two. Oh, 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 my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Get stand up. up. Oh, my. Wow. A top four or picking a champion is, mm -hmm. uh, if you if you can do it, you get it right. Full credit to you. Uh oh, oh here look we go. out, Whittington baseline. <laughs> Greg Whittington with a highlight reel throwdown. And he stares down his head coach Andrew Gaze just gives him the little stank eye. It's massive, you know. They're two of the main players of their um, their team and, and at both ends of the floor. I think they, they're they smart guys and offensively they they make the team a whole lot different. So we're grateful for the run, the opportunity to get out here and uh, have another a workout and test some of our systems in, in game situations. But we're fully aware that uh, we've got to keep the result in context and um, you know they're, they're significantly undermanned. And But nevertheless, hopefully they got some value out of it as well because that's what this weekend's about, is trying to get together and, and see where everyone's at and understand the areas you need to work on. As, you know, after the game, very briefly, I spoke to the fellas and the most pleasing thing is we, we hold a team of 65 points. If we can hold teams to below 70, we're going to win more than we lose. Um, so, because we've, we've got some, some good offensive tools out there regardless of what you do. So I was really pleased that uh, on, the off, on the defensive end, we were able to to execute some of the strategies we've put in place and, and at the end of the day uh, hold, a, hold a team that although missing a couple of prime movers, hold a team at this level to, to 65 points then you're going to be in good shape. <laughs>